Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Snakey Cubed. In this video, I'll be unboxing the new YJ Guanpo 2x2 and Kong's Design Mayu 4x4. I'm really excited to see what these new cubes have to offer, especially that they're coming from these very well known companies. Let's get into it. So here are two Guoguan Yueshiaos. They're both for my 100,000 views giveaway. The giveaway ended a few days ago and I'll be shipping out the prizes shortly. One thing I'd like to say is that I only got one response from the four people, so only one person will be receiving a prize. And I will be repicking the winners once again. And that kind of sucks for me because I have to do another video out on that, but it's okay. So the prizes, just so you guys wanted, if you guys wanted to know, is a white Yue Xiao and Guampo and one black Yue Xiao and Guampo. So all these prizes are in this package here. So out of the box, the Yue Xiao still has the same scratchy and sandy feel, just like my main Yue Xiao. The black one is kind of loose in this clip, but then we have the white one, which just corner twisted. And it's pretty nice, it's just a little bit loose out of the box. So upon the winner's request, I will set these cubes up for them. So now moving on to the highly anticipated Kong's Design Mayu 4x4. So just a little information on the Mayu. The manufacturers had to stop the production of the first batch because, honestly, it really sucked. And according to a lot of people's videos, it really sucked. But honestly, this cube had a malfunction in the pieces where the centerpieces just really were not very good. There was a little bit of structural damage, and it just caused a lot of catching with the actual corner piece, and it just wasn't really good. So apparently, according to the cubicle and speaking shop, the malfunction caused extremely bad performance, and also on other people's videos, this was mentioned as well. And uh, especially on hashtag Cura's video, she really did not like it, and I didn't really want to buy it. So what I did is instead I got a gray 4x4 because I thought gray was pretty cool, honestly. And it really does look pretty cool, honestly, guys. So tell me what you think of this new color. I think it's pretty interesting. So I want you guys to tell me if you like these new artsy shots, if I should do more of these. I'm trying to do more of these and kind of make my like videos better. So here the turning is it is extremely extremely scratchy but one thing i did have a problem with is that it was extremely tight and the reverse corner cutting was so bad um here's the tensions right here they're super super tight and the corner cutting was just way not up to par and a bad thing about it is that it just caught like this kind of you'd use the two by two layers it it just really was not good even with the new um center pieces it still was good and there is the logo which still looks really nice but the turning of the three by three the outer layers is actually really nice i am not a really big fan of the inner layers double inner layer turns are very nice but then if you just use one it kind of sucks so my overall opinion on this out of the box is it's not good i will not be reviewing this it's just not one of the good four by fours out there i would not recommend it and i'm kind of happy i chose to pick it in gray because it's not very good so moving over to the new yj 2x2 called the guanpo so the moyu 2x2 called the tangpo was not one of my favorites i really did not like it and this one i didn't really have high hopes other than it was a very cheap cube just like the new guansu 4x4 which i did enjoy but the Tangpo, just all Moyu 2x2s and YJ 2x2s just don't fit me. The Dian is always the best for me. And I was really interested to see how this turned out. So the first thing I felt when I picked up this cube is that was an extremely light cube. So I didn't really think there was going to be some filled in holes in the pieces. And there weren't. There were caps. And some of the pieces weren't capped. 
not really the pieces weren't capped, it's just that not all sides were capped, which kind of made me feel like this cube was going to be not very good. But I ended up really liking it. I've had this cube for over a week now, and it is really scratchy. The original feel kind of went away, but as of right now, it's really, really good, and I like it. It's just not going to be replacing the die-in. So that's it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Sorry, I'm stealing this from JR Cuber. But yes, please follow me on social media. Don't forget to check out everything in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.